Let's give it up for Colleen Carroll. Yeah. 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 Hi, this is Alexis from the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here at AWSI 2015 with the woman's winner, Colleen Carroll. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. You won the trophy, I'm, not me. Yeah. I mean, put, hold it up there. Hold it up. I'm doing great. <laughs> I mean, this is awesome. This is super awesome. I mean, I, I, I couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, I know a lot of people know you just from being on the water and mm -hmm. seeing your riding and winning triple S. Not once, but a couple of times. But like, what, what goes behind the scenes to make all this happen? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm working year round, you know, on the water, off the water. I'm writing a lot of articles, distributing a lot of media to the magazine, trying to work with those magazines to produce really high quality media. Uh, it's, yeah, a lot of time and effort kiting, trying to push my riding on the water, but I'd say there's almost as much time behind, behind that. Behind the scenes, if you will. <laughs> yeah, behind the scenes, um, really trying to to create good media that, that goes along with it. Now, women's kiteboarding has progressed, is growing bigger. There, there's women's kite specifics, you know, mm -hmm. bars, boards, all that stuff. Where do you see this from a woman's perspective? Um, I mean, I, I see women's kiteboarding growing and expanding and in, in numbers and in progression every single day. I mean, every new spot I go, every time I'm riding, in the Park and Hood River, over in Hatteras, down in Brazil. I mean, freestyle, wake style, surfing. I mean, there's girls crushing it in all disciplines. And I only hope that it, it can continue, which is, and it's also really awesome that uh, we have this award this year. This is the first year we've ever gotten it. It is the first. So You're the first. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm so proud to be the first. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really genuinely stoked and appreciative that we have this award and that we can keep, keep charging it. Now, for all the young ladies out there who are trying to get to your level, what, what do you say to them? Uh, I mean, well, that's pretty profound, but go out, ride hard, have fun. I mean, don't necessarily do, try to do everything you see everybody else doing on the water. Do what feels good to you and go for it. Don't be, don't be, don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. To, oh, like this is what they're doing. So that's what I'm going to try. No, watch, watch everybody, watch other sports, watch, you know, just observe it all and, and create your own, your own thing. What women out there inspire you to do better? Uh, in, I mean, in kiteboarding, I'm inspired every day by all, by the girls I ride with. Lindsay McClure and Sensi Graves, two of the girls that were nominated with me. I ride with them all the time, and they're constantly inspiring me on and off the water. Uh, but also, you know, some of the international women like Bruna. Yeah, she kills Bruna it. Bruna kills it. I love watching Bruna, and she's such an awesome person, you know, just truly genuine. Carolina, you know, she's yeah. obviously been pushing it oh, on the yeah, tour. Oh, yeah, she has. Her freestyle is insane. Uh, but other, you know, other women from other sports and snowboarding and wakeboarding and surfing, it's, it's cool to see... You know, it's cool to see all disciplines and just see them out there charging it. <laughs> Finally, who to thank? Uh, of course, I have to thank North Kiteboarding. They're my, they're my backbone. They're Bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, North Kiteboarding, Ion, Sensi Bikinis, and the Kiteboarder Magazine. Oh, no, no, you're buttering the muffin now. <laughs> Thanks so much, Colleen. Cheers. Woohoo! <laughs>